Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. This is, again, Hasu League. Season 11, this is the round of eight. Style has taken one game, Son has taken two. With two excellent timing pushes, so... Facing elimination. And again, I want to point out Esports Fun, bottom right-hand corner, Bombastic Star League. Check out... So this is, like, I think Hasu League is the sweet spot. That's where I see a lot of the fun build orders and things like that, and I feel like it's like a good level of execution. But if you want to see even better stuff as far as quality of play, we do have, there is Gosu League, which is above this, and of course uh, the Pro League, I think is what they call it, where you end up with all those guys like Bonneth and Gornich, and I think uh, Hawk and Jayun are up in there as well. Anyway, 12 o'clock location style as the yellow Protoss, bottom left-hand corner, about the 8 o'clock location, we have Sone as the pink Protoss. Sone, if he wins this, he will advance to the round of four. Whoever wins this overall, I think they get automatic advancement to the next lead up, is how it works for the next season, and it kind of, you can make, honestly, if you want to just participate for BSL, if you are a Brood War player, or you're getting back into Brood War, you can sign up for BSL, and you'd make a BSL account like Sone here, and just start playing, and see how well you do on the overall ladder. That's kind of the encouragement I give to you. So you know exactly where you stand in the ranking of actual people attempting to be competitive. Not like true competitive, because it's not like these people are doing it for a living. So it's not like the... It's, more, it's like the Olympics of StarCraft. Damn, this was the description I was giving to people the other day. So it feels like Foreigner StarCraft is like Olympics versus like NBA professionals in that area, era with, uh, compared to the Koreans. So the Koreans, they did it like, you know, this is like their life, their dedication, like the professional people. I'm not sure if that's even the case with the Olympics anymore. I know they opened up professional stuff for the um, NBA basketball players. I digress. Gateway order <laughs> with the simulator to start. So it looks like Style is going to opt once again for maybe a non-Zealot opener, which, I don't know, maybe he'll still produce it. I feel like this is a good map for the Zealots to start since there is no ramp to provide any protection. Sone building that barracks alongside. He will have to lift it up to build a commsat station eventually, but it's going to provide that nice little kind of run feature where you can move the marines back and forth these corners. And this, I think, tends to be the preferred corner, although sometimes you can run into your SCVs and get a little bit disrupted. And sending out an SCV scout after that, it looks like Style going to go ahead and get his scout in, mostly undisturbed. Factory being planted down, and we see a reduction to a single SCV on gas. Pro being greeted by bullets to the face. I think he does get a good look at that SC that count. He's going to try to check the perimeter. He is going to get caught, I think, because he's going to come back into this edge, and it looks like, yeah, that's why you do that. Sone already had that barracks. Oh, the Marine making a misstep. Now two Marines. So this is the thing, yeah, I expect to see in the future where you see the probe able to sneak out a little bit further, but unfortunately getting back into a corner. So it gets wiped out. I think it got enough scouting information, so... this is Yeah, that's why you do that. Plant that right there, so you end up boxing them in a corner. If they're not paying attention, you get an easier kill than you would otherwise. We have Spinny Spinny on that cybernetic score, which suggests we're not going to see any sort of early rush tech. Only a single gateway. So it's very likely we're seeing one gate into expand from style. It is possible he'll move these Dragoons out towards that front. Machine shop being plopped down, and we'll see if... So thus far, Sone has gone for pressure after pressure after pressure. We saw the two factory push. We saw the, what was that, the nine minute ish? Eight minute, nine minute? Um, one factory tank vulture push, uh, which was ex super effective on Overwatch. And actually, looking at it, just the way he executed it with the follow up drop was perfect. So I, I feel like Style was like, okay, we're going to go to a map that punishes this a little bit and where it's not really. where you may be more unfamiliar. And unfortunately, I think Sone had prepared for that. And he's like, you know what? I already know how to, how to deal this. And I think we're going to see that, that rush again because we've got Vulture Mines being produced with that tank. So we'll see if we see the two tanks and additional pressure from there. Style still keeping this Dragoon back. He wants to go ahead and deny information to any sort of SCV that still might be able to sneak out. Robotics facility to start. Unfortunately, he's not plopping down additional gate. He's going for, yeah, just that one basin to expand. And I'm almost wondering if this was, this is like one of those things where they've played against each other enough and Sone just really has a good idea of what he's up against, against his opponent. He's showing, this is, wow, the true fake of fake. He's showing four Marines and a tank moving out to the front which usually is an indicator from Terran that they're going for an expansion uh, with this sort of build. So showing that off is going to think make Style think, oh yeah, I'm safe to take an expansion, but not falling it for it this time. He's going to go ahead and plop down three gates. That should put him in a better position to fight this off, and honestly, if he wipes out all of these Marines, 
push things through. And it might be because he saw four Marines instead of three was the big indicator. This is a lot of Marines marching in a very nice formation and two tanks. The Vultures will follow up. And he's going to go for, he might go for an expansion nevertheless. Style, ooh. Unfortunately, these, it depends on how they engage. Might get to have a little bit of a high ground advantage with this mischance. Can try to get some firing off on these Marines as they can. Get one Marine picked off, two Marines picked off. I think he's going to be in a good situation to fight this off with reinforcements that come out of those gateways, though. SCV's still trying to push, and he's actually thinned out the herd of Marines. Marines actually do shred Dragoon armor fairly, fairly rapidly. But he's preserved them. Additional Dragoon out in front. Taking a lot of those shots. A lot of Marines still getting wiped out. Only one Marine left, but one Dragoon, and there should be more to follow. And actually, with the second, with the three Dragoons that should be popping out more momentarily, I think that Style should be able to fight this back. Siege tanks pressing forward. There are Vultures there at the natural. They gotta get mines planted to make this an effective rush. A couple probes coming off the line as well. Working their attack moving that pylon. I don't know that he's got... Did he have mines? He doesn't have Siege tank ready. SCV's not repairing those tanks. Mine taking out, looks like the, yeah, so everything getting cleared out. It did a bad job doing the call by call, but Style able to fight that off, able to pick off those mines effectively before they were able to do any sort of explode things on the ground. Nice attack movement, and he's got his observer out to go ahead and clear and hold his natural. So now, Sone is going to go ahead and try to, ooh, this is risky. He's going to go ahead and just plop down his command center and rely on his vultures to just fight this back. But with that observer out, with the second, so yeah, with the second round of Dragoons, Style can go ahead and take his natural expansion and walk up and start poking at this this natural. If he has the wherewithal to do it. And I think as soon as that observer makes its way down there, he might just opt to do that. At which point, Sone, with just a siege tank, a single bunker and single marine, honestly, if Style just continues to macro out of his gates, he will have an opportunity if if he can be aware of it, to really punish this. Although the positioning is a little bit challenging because this is a this is a bunker with a siege tank behind. But here's the thing, you get one, I don't know, one or two Dragoon, maybe even a Zealot here out in the front. They can just walk up, pick off that siege tank, although second siege tank in position now. I think, he, anyway, I don't know. <laughs> it's one of those things where I might, maybe there's an opportunity. Vulture able to sneak through. Is it gonna get any kills? Uh, Able getting some hits. Getting some hits. Ooh, Dragoons miss microing there. Able to get one kill. Finally able to get the second kill. But here's the thing. Regardless. Oh, man, that sneeze is coming back. Regardless. So, okay, so now Stone's okay. He's got that front door sealed. Didn't lose any siege tanks. And actually, I'm going to roll my logic back here. With those Dragoons being pinned back by the vultures that had snuck through. I'm not sure that's that Style really did have an opportunity to push that up. Anyway, better player comment and, and things. Let me know. Observer getting wiped out. Factory, second factory finally being plopped down. So I'm feeling much more comfortable with those three siege tanks and this wall. But regardless, what this means is Style has a degree of map control for the time being. Because the Vultures aren't in a position where they can just sneak through freely. Might see Style opt for a additional expansion as a result. Continuing to produce observers. And we'll see if Sone again kind of walks back. Plops down an additional armory. Or if he's going to play. He does have an armory right here. Just now starting weapons one. And we'll see if he tries to move into the mid game. And go for again one of those. Although the timing will be a bit off comparatively. Another one of those. I'm going to produce a bunch of units. And once I hit weapons one. Move on and attack you. With that advantage. Splatting that egg. So he can open up and get more reinforcements to his front door. More rapidly. Style taking that third Nexus in that back corner. Plenty of Dragoons right there. I'm wondering if he's going to move them out more towards the front or if he's just going to levy them there just in case any Vultures move up. Handful of Zealots into a shuttle. That is not a speed shuttle, but leg speed is being researched. And so there might be some good zealot, zealot bombed opportunities if they approach from this angle, or they could just get dropped into the main. There's only just this turret they can get dropped short. You know what this map reminds me of? This it reminds me of the classic map Tau Cross a little bit. Very reminiscent of that. More dragoons filtering forward. There's still a handful of dragoons at home base, just in case some vultures were dropped out on the map. Sometimes what you'll see people do is they'll you know just funnel, use a dropship there, move some vultures around here, and then drop from the opposite side. 
style looking for an opportunity. He does have that the zealots right there. Mine, we do have a turret <clears throat> to deal with this drop. And it looks like the new turret planted is going to have those observers spotted out in the field. And I think, yeah, Styles just kind of keeping an eye up, getting his macro up, wants to see what he's up against. And right now, he's up against a lot of siege tanks. There's the starport being produced, which can suggest one of two things. Either, how did these vultures get out? When did I miss that? Huh. Anyway, vultures have snuck out in the map. Might be able to get some kills here. Pylons have blockaded a lot up, and the Dragoons can move across... To deal with that without too much trouble. I like the spotting here from Sone with that engineering bay. Yeah. So moving up. Are they going to be able to get across? Yeah. I don't think they're going to get a lot more out of this though. Got one kill. Ooh. That was maybe worth it. Got a Dragoon out of it with that mine. <clears throat> so both players kind of hunkering down. We do not see a starport expansion just yet. And we're seeing a second army plopping down. So this is just for the upgrades to go. And I think what Sone is now moving towards is that more classic... Uh, and I'm trying to... I don't know the timing in my head, but I'm going to estimate... I don't know, guesstimate. The bad Terran build order guess estimation of 16 minutes approximately. 15 minutes, 16 minutes, somewhere around there. Where we're going to see level 2 weapons, level 1 armor. And Sone unsiege... Uh, I don't know. We'll say 140 supply as just a shot in the dark. To press into styles. Five gateways. Forge Stargate plopping down. Six gateways now. And I'm almost wondering if Style is going to go ahead and opt to take yet another expansion. Because I think he's got a good look at what's going on. And he knows what his opponent is up to. Science facility down. Yeah, and there's level 2 upgrade. So level 1 is up. Level 2 is working. Level 1 armor will be upgrading momentarily. So he's shifting back. So the timing will be a little bit different. But he's shifting back into that once level 2 weapons finishes, once level 1 weapon finishes, the dive into the attack. Dragoon getting pressed against. It's possible. He's motioning as though he's trying to take a third. But he's going to do this off just the two bases, I believe. And try to establish map control again or get a kill from there. Single Dragoon just hanging out there at Style's third base. Style is getting his own tech up. He's got level one weapons just now starting. He's double forging it though, so he wants to try to manage things. And he's going into Arbiter tech, which is very popular these days to try to combat this. Here's the thing. Essentially, when you're doing this as Terran, what you were relying on your Protoss opponent to do is to play it a little bit too greedy or not a fit. Basically, it's kind of like, will the Protoss hit their macro timings properly in order to deal with what you're throwing out there? Four gateways being plopped down. So these two gateways will continue to produce tanks. We're going to see uh, four. And I'm usually... I wonder if we're going to see one more here once there's resources. So this is going to be with five factories. And just a continual pump. Charon Booster is actually being upgraded as well. So we might see some Goliaths out to try to help with the Arbiters. A lot of units being produced. It looks like right now Styles is, is in a strong position though. Because he's got, as far as macro goes, you can see the pro count, SCV count, just about even. <laughs> they're getting splatted out in the field. But he's got about a 20 supply, kind of a variable 20-15 supply lead. And that's about where you want to be as Protoss. The trick of it, though, is even if you are doing that, you still need to engage really, really well. Particularly with the level... Just because siege tanks are siege tanks, right? They can really decimate units. Barracks wandering out just to kind of get spot against latent drops. There's a lot of Dragoons there already on the front position. I still don't see an Arbiter anywhere out in the field. Stasis is being researched. We see Gravimetric Booster being researched as well, so the mines will be a little bit less effective. Still effective, but a little bit less effective as they can pin to Dragoon and usually keep up. The Dark Templar also out in the front to maybe get some sneaky mind drags. But now Sone, at just as level 1 weapons, or level 2 weapons, level 1 armor is finishing, gathering up to go ahead and do that push. What did I say? I think I said 150, 160. So almost right. Supply Dark Templar right on there. Might get a great mind drag on those first siege tanks. Style moving up with two dropships with a bunch of Zealot bombs dropping all over this. So he's hitting the timing really really well and able to clear out a lot wow that was a beautiful beautiful mind drag great drops and you just see all of the damage that happened there style still up 10 supply regathering still no arbiter where's the arbiter he's going to go ahead and try to take an additional base here at the nine o'clock i'm wondering if what that's going to cause stone to do is rethink going for just the flat push and maybe off he does have that scv out in the front opt for third base pushing into this 
shuttle moving around. There are Zealots in there. A lot of those Dragoons getting wiped out, though. Zealots right on top of those forward siege tanks, though. And a lot of these units are not able to join this. This is great from style. This is a clinic on, I think, on how to deal with this. Because he is basically forcing Sohn to blockade. Like, as, as far as trying to engage this, you can see he can't get out of his own base to press this attack and get a better position. Although, style a little bit thin as far as units on the front door is... Science Vessel, a little bit exposed. I like these units here, just in case there was something else out there. I'm still looking for that Arbiter. There's the Arbiter. Out in the field. Still a lot of Zealots gathering up, but look at all these units that weren't are not able to get through because of where Style was engaging. So really choosing a nice engagement point, and not just that, executing it really well, in my opinion. Finally, the Vulture is able to peel out. That is a lot of Vultures still, though. Even Supply, which suggests Zone might be in a solid position to still take this. Arbiter is now there. Does it have a significant amount of energy? No. Without a significant amount of energy to produce a lot of Stasis. Stasi? Stasus? Don't know the plural of that one. Spells. To produce a lot of spells to assist with this attack. This also looks like a little bit of a thin army. And also keep in mind, some of that supply is in probes. So Zone still might have an opportunity. He is mining a lot out to the front. And I'm wondering if he's still going to gather up and go. Never mind. He built a command center in that background. He's going to go ahead and try to establish his third. Level 1 weapons, level 1 armor is up for style in the interim. But level 3 weapons, level 2 armor is working for Sony. He's still going to hold that upgrade advantage over the long term. And he's plopping down additional expansions. I still feel like Sony has a degree of map control. We'll see how long that holds. Because I think that... I think what Sone's worried about is oftentimes what you'll see Protoss do, particularly on this map, is when they sneak out like this, they just come down and do a big rush and crush this third base as it's as it's building. However, Style is opting instead to go ahead and establish some cannon lines, get some additional bases, and kind of pick at the perimeter of this to just reduce the surface area, reduce Sone's ability to control the map, sneak vultures out, things like that. As I say that, though, vultures are going to squirt out along that left-hand perimeter to try to do what they can. He's doing a good job of engaging that. You can just see all the pink on the map here. And critically here, so main mind out, Arbiter building. Critically here though, for Sone, is Sone just sitting on this factory push? He is hitting max. He is gonna hit max before Style does. And he still has that upgrade advantage. And the critical difference usually in this army, again, spellcasters, and we have an ar one Arbiter without a lot of energy. So I'm going to say advantage still a little bit sown uh, here. Although the macro, the long, so basically what it comes down to is I feel like the advantage right the second is sown. However, the longer this game carries on, if Sone can continue to engage exactly like this, pick off a little bit army, not lose a lot, engaging right here, good stasis, oh, stasis on the front, I think he wanted the stasis on the back, but catches a lot of supply and stasis here. The Zealots are able to filter around that and get right on top of everything. The bulk of Stone's army wasn't here. So Style able to engage on a pinpoint. And he's actually making his way up into the third as well. Nice defense matrix on that tank as Zealots are dropping. There's nothing to Zealot bomb. And he's going to lose that shuttle. Looks like to a turret. Continuing to move up with the Dragoons. This is a lot of vultures in the way. Not a lot of siege tanks comparatively. Good, good damage on top of that Arbiter as, as it backs up. I think Style got the better part of that fight. I think Style should just cut his losses... And just back out. Just back out. Looks like he's still going to sit and wait. Maybe try to pick off a science vessel. That... Yeah, it's going to unsiege right as that's happening. Someone's going to try to dive down on top of the rest of this army. Another great stasis blocking the high ground. But which would have been great if Style had another army to kind of sneak out and do some additional damage. But instead, Style's army's gone. Still a standing army for Sone. And he's going to have to regather, reproduce. So I'm sitting on three bases. I think, again, though, the longer this carries on, as long as Style can keep up with his macro. Sitting on, what is this? 9, 10, 11? 11 gateways, two Stargates. Both of them are silent. I think that's going to be critical. It's keeping these Stargates producing those Arbiters so we can have that energy hit those critical Stasis, maybe even have Recall, something along those lines. Additional gateways being produced. I think he's going, okay, some, some Templar Storm. So at this stage, what Style is doing, he's like, okay, you go ahead and sit on three. It looks like, I think he sees this. Let's see if the Zealot kicks in and goes 
for the six o'clock. He's gonna go for a long-term production style where he can more or less sack. He's in. A, he's setting up for a position where I know I have the macro advantage. I'm gonna go ahead and be able to sack my bases and reproduce my army from any corner and push through. Arbiter sneaking across this nine o'clock. Is it gonna be able to even recall? Getting towards the main on top of the factory line. And it looks like it's going to... Wow, is it going to wander back across here and just... No, it's just going to back out. Not even going to bother recalling. Just flying overhead and being in a future position to recall. Some vultures desperately trying to get into this bottom right-hand base. But just getting wiped out and decimated. Oops, still able to sneak through. More cannons being warped in. And I think this is one of those... So Flash mentioned this. is Sometimes you're so focused on throwing those vultures in, you don't realize how many you're losing. And I, even though he's getting a handful of probe kills... He really lost a lot of vultures there, like almost a control group and a half. So I don't think that's an efficient trade for him. And he's in a situation where he needs to efficiently trade overall. Big bank for style. He didn't have recall research. That's what it was. I think that was a bit of a mistake. So I, you can't see that Arbiter, but it's in that bottom left-hand corner. Good EMP on that Arbiter now. So he's going to do recall, and then I think he realized, oh, wait, I didn't have recall researched. <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie. So now we know <laughs> what happened there. Sone is mined out at his natural, mined out of his main. He's going to be mining out of one, looks like, one and a half base. He's not even really mining here yet. So he's basically one base versus three bases. This one's going to be out four bases. Four bases fully mining comparatively for Style. Again, Style in a commanding position now, but he's still got a very dangerous army wandering out here of large composition, and he's still going to need his spellcasters and raw macro to keep up in this. Looks like he has done a good job doing this. However, he's at 75 probes, which... Might want fewer than that, honestly, to engage this very strong, heavily upgraded army. Trying to take that natural, might want to cancel that as I'm doing that. Missing a recall at that main, that Arbiter making its way back across, is going to chew through that supply, and I think this puts in, this puts Sone in go mode. His army is way out of position to try to re-engage this. He does have a single siege tank up there. He needs to end the game with the standing army now. Nice side storm on that corner. It looks like some rest of the reinforcements going across the middle of the map. Some nice mind drags from some of these dragging siege tanks in style kind of systematically clearing, clearing this up. And if he goes ahead and pins this army back... And actually, no, he's going to try to dive in at this one mining base. Some Zelts can clear it up by these vultures and mines. And if he can... Oh, this is an unfortunate look, engagement. I almost feel like there was an opportunity. Stasis in a couple siege tanks. The rest of the Arbiter moving in. This, these units are still here. Taking out supply depots. Don't miscount that because that is putting Sone in the red and he doesn't have a lot of spare minerals to re-engage. Nice EMP on that Arbiter but I don't think it matters. This base is no longer mining effectively. SEV's flooding out. Sone down to 124 supply versus 167 plus a very lack of disruption. So yeah you're getting to this bottom right hand base but you're not on the main production site. Style's happy to trade this for everything else that he's inflicted. SEV trying desperately to defend this at 115 supply and still in the red. So I think Style just needs to keep his wits about him. Single Dragoon here uh, doing some harassment. Basically, Stone is out of minerals. He, he's going to have to rely on his bank and his standing army to finish this out. I'm not going to put it past him. DT's getting on top of all of that, actually doing forcing a lot of splash damage. And I think Style's just taking a moment to gather himself, look at what he's got, look at his map, get his macro going. And as long as he does that, he'll be okay. Unfortunately, looking at these gateway, there's they're still silent. Now producing those Arbiters. At 144 supply, still picking off some SCVs that are distance mining there. Everything getting wiped out the bottom right-hand corner again. Happy to trade that. Only one mining base, and it is barely mining. And these Dragoons are just wiping out everything here. Some SCVs trying to distance mine up here, so Sone just absolutely in desperation mode. And now Style moving out with that army. I almost wish he would pin this army into this corner, though. Get some zealots down here, some probes dying as that nexus is taken out. But it looks like he he's doing the very Protoss thing to do, which is engage where the enemy army isn't until you have the spells, the bulk, everything else to engage it. Natural's mined out a couple loose probes there. I should make sure that Style's actually mining, because sometimes that can be a factor. It looks like he is, in fact, mining out of that three base. So it's three base versus effectively zero at this stage, because this is no longer mining. This is distance mining. I mean, what do we call that? 0.5? This is half a base. I'll call it half a base. An Archon somehow in here engaging vultures. Not the best matchup you want. 
Okay, now style regathering. Looks like he did another recall into the main, which Sohn really just can't defend. So he should be able to kill off all of the producing units for Sohn. Wow, that's a little BM. <laughs> He's like, okay, canceling it. He's like, okay, you're distance mining here. I'm just going to plop a Nexus here. That's how confident I am that I can take this. Siege tanks regathering. Sohn still has a standing army. And the game's not over until that standing army is taken care of just because of the sheer upgrades that are there. Usually. Still might try to fight it out. A lot of mines right there. The Zelt's going to go ahead and just mine drag to try to clear that as much as possible. Arbiter moving forward across as well. Is there a science vessel here? There is a science vessel nearby to maybe pro provide some support. Dragoons now working their way across the main. Nice defensive matrix. On top of that siege, forward siege tanks. And it looks like they're just concentrating their fire there. Finally taking that tank out. This is not the best engagement point for Style, but I don't think it matters just because he's happy to just trade units at this stage. He's got a huge bank. He's got a lot of Dragoons. They're just wiping out. They're just having a field day. This is like... These Dragoons in here are just like, you know what? This is the this is kind of like that boring... I know I've heard stories in the military where you just end up like, you've already done everything and now you're just sitting there like standing around real bored, clearing stuff out. I feel like what this is the Dragoons are doing right here. Sone, I don't think he can get back in this match. I'm going to be honest with you guys. He uh, he has Siege Tanks. He's I think because he just has existent Siege Tanks, he's not giving up. And that's a very Terran thing to do. Nice EMP right there. But right now, look at this army. Continuing to flood out. 185 supply to 37? Yeah. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Because I don't think he... Well, he might be able to engage. I don't know that he can even engage these Dragoons here across the middle of the map. Some additional Zelts wandering across, trying to clear mines to get a little bit more map control. And Style taking another expansion, by the way. Still trying to distance mine. But yeah, he, here's the thing. Not Style would just... This is kind of the reverse of the last match, where Style would have to go AFK to lose this one. And Sone is, I think, trying to wear him out. So it's almost like a tit-for-tat thing. He's like, okay, you did that. Maybe that was an effective strategy, doing like the wear-out thing, so I'm going to do that to you and hear him just make it last a little bit longer. I'm hoping that's like a friendly tournament strategy thing and not a, like, I'm bitter that you didn't leave. Because <laughs> sometimes that's a thing. I'm bitter you didn't leave last match or is when you should. <laughs> so there's the GG. We are going into a game five, which will be the deciding match between these two guys. Been a good series thus far. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. We will move, so for Twitch, we're moving on to that immediately. For the rest of you guys, game five tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.